The drafting of the Constitution of the United States began on May 25, 1787, when the Constitutional Convention met for the first time with a quorum at the Pennsylvania State House now Independence Hall in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania to revise the Articles of Confederation, and ended on September 17, 1787, the day the Constitution drafted by the Convention's delegates to replace the Articles was adopted and signed. The ratification process for the Constitution began that day, and ended when the final state, Rhode Island, ratified it on May 29, 1790. In addition to key events during the Constitutional Convention and afterward while the Constitution was before the states for their ratification, this timeline includes important events that occurred during the run-up to the Convention and during the nation's transition from government under the Articles of Confederation to government under the Constitution, and concludes with the unique ratification vote of Vermont, which at the time was a sovereign state outside the Union. The time span covered is five years, nine months, from March 25, 1785 to January 10, 1791. 1785 March 25 – Maryland-Virginia Conference convenes Initially scheduled to assemble in Alexandria, Virginia on March 21, delegates representing the states of Maryland and Virginia gather at Mount Vernon, the Fairfax County home of George Washington, to address navigational rights in the state's common waterways. Attending what later became known as the Mount Vernon Conference were, Daniel of St. Thomas Jennifer, Thomas Stone, and Samuel Chase, from Maryland, along with George Mason, and Alexander Henderson of Virginia. March 28 – Maryland, Virginia Conference concludes, Delegates approve a 13-point agreement, commonly known as the Mount Vernon Compact, regulating commerce, fishing, and navigation in the waters of the Potomac and Pocomoke Rivers, and Chesapeake Bay. The agreement was subsequently ratified by both the Virginia and Maryland General Assemblies, becoming the nation's first interstate compact. 1786 January 21 conference to address certain defects of the federal government called Virginia General Assembly calls for an interstate convention for the purpose of discussing and developing a consensus about reversing the protectionist trade and commerce barriers existing between the various states. September 11 Annapolis Convention convenes Delegates representing Delaware, New Jersey, New York, Pennsylvania, and Virginia meet at George Mann's Tavern in Annapolis, Maryland to discuss ways to facilitate commerce between the states and establish standard rules and regulations. Appointed delegates from Massachusetts, New Hampshire, North Carolina, and Rhode Island either arrived too late to participate or otherwise did not attend. Four states, Connecticut, Georgia, Maryland and South Carolina, did not appoint delegates. September 14 – Annapolis Convention adjourns The convention report, sent to Congress and the legislatures of the various states, contains a request that another convention be held the following May at Philadelphia to discuss amending the Articles of Confederation. November 23 New Jersey elects delegates to the proposed Constitutional Convention. David Burley, Jonathan Dayton, William Houston, William Livingston, and William Patterson will attend. December 4 Virginia elects delegates to the proposed Constitutional Convention. John Blair, Jr., James Madison, Jr., George Mason, James McClurg, Edmund Randolph, George Washington, and George Wythe will attend. December 30 Pennsylvania elects delegates to the proposed Constitutional Convention. George Clymer, Thomas Fitzsimmons, Benjamin Franklin, Jared Ingersoll, Thomas Mifflin, Governor Morris, Robert Morris, and James Wilson will attend. 1787 January 6 North Carolina elects delegates to the proposed Constitutional Convention. William Blunt, William Davy, Alexander Martin, Richard Dobbs Spate, and Hugh Williamson will attend. January 17 New Hampshire elects delegates to the proposed Philadelphia Convention. Nicholas Gilman and John Langdon will attend. February 3 Delaware elects delegates to the proposed Constitutional Convention. Richard Bassett, Gunning Bedford Jr., Jacob Broom, and John Dickinson, and George Reed will attend. February 10 Georgia elects delegates to the proposed Constitutional Convention. Abraham Baldwin, William Few, William Howstone, and William Pierce will attend. February 21 Convention to discuss revisions to the Articles of Confederation called 
the Congress of the Confederation calls a constitutional convention for the sole and express purpose of revising the Articles of Confederation and reporting to Congress and the several legislatures such alterations and provisions therein and when agreed to in Congress and confirmed by the states render the federal constitution adequate to the exigencies of government and the preservation of the Union." March 3 Massachusetts elects delegates to the upcoming Constitutional Convention. Elbridge Gerry, Nathaniel Gorham, Rufus King, and Caleb Strong will attend. March 6 New York elects delegates to the upcoming Constitutional Convention. Alexander Hamilton, John Lansing Jr., and Robert Yates will attend. March 8 South Carolina elects delegates to the upcoming Constitutional Convention. Pierce Butler, Charles Coatsworth Pinckney, Charles Pinckney, and John Rutledge will attend. April 23 Maryland elects delegates to the upcoming Constitutional Convention. Daniel Carroll, Daniel of St. Thomas Jennifer, Luther Martin, James McHenry, and John Mercer will attend. May 5 A motion to send delegates to the Constitutional Convention fails in the Rhode Island General Assembly. May 14 Constitutional Convention scheduled to begin as only a small number of delegates have arrived in Philadelphia, the convention's opening meeting is postponed for lack of a quorum. May 14 Connecticut elects delegates to the Constitutional Convention. Oliver Ellsworth, William Samuel Johnson and Roger Sherman will attend. May 17 A letter from certain citizens of Rhode Island is sent to the convention expressing their support for its work and their regret that not every state will be participating. May 25 Constitutional Convention convenes As enough delegates have gathered at the Pennsylvania State House to constitute a quorum, the Constitutional Convention is called to order and delegates begin their work. George Washington is elected president of the convention. William Jackson is selected as the secretary to the convention. Alexander Hamilton, Charles Pinckney and George Wythe are chosen to prepare rules for the convention. May 29 Virginia Plan also known as the Large State Plan or the Randolph Plan for structuring the federal government is presented by Edmund Randolph. May 29 Pinckney Plan for structuring the federal government is presented by Charles Pinckney. May 30 Nathaniel Gorham is elected to serve as chairman of the Committee of the Whole. June 15 New Jersey Plan also known as the Small State Plan or the Patterson Plan for structuring the federal government is presented by William Patterson, June 18 Hamilton Plan also known as the British Plan for structuring the federal government is presented by Alexander Hamilton. July 2 Committee of Eleven composed of Abraham Baldwin, Gunning Bedford, William Davy, Oliver Ellsworth, Benjamin Franklin, Elbridge Gerry, Luther Martin, George Mason, John Rutledge, William Patterson, and Robert Yates, is selected to work out a compromise on the issue of representation in the two houses of the federal legislature. Committees like this one, composed of one delegate from each state represented, were established on several occasions during the convention in order to secure a breakthrough so that the deliberative process could move forward in a productive fashion. July 16 Committee of Eleven Report, proposing proportional representation for seats in the House of Representatives based on population, equal representation for each state in the Senate, and that all money bills would originate in the House, is approved by the convention. 5 4 1. This is known as the Connecticut Compromise, also known as the Great Compromise, July 24. Committee of Detail, composed of John Rutledge, Edmund Randolph, Nathaniel Gorham, Oliver Ellsworth, and James Wilson, is selected to write a first draft constitution reflective of the resolutions passed by the convention up to that point, August 6. Committee of Detail Report, proposing a 23-article plus preamble constitution is presented, August 18. Committee of Eleven composed of Abraham Baldwin, George Clymer, John Dickinson, Rufus King, John Langdon, William Livingston, George Mason, James McHenry, Charles C. Pinckney, Roger Sherman, and Hugh Williamson, is selected to address issues related to federal assumption of state debts. Issues related to the militia are referred to this committee on August 20th, August 22. Committee of Eleven composed of Abraham Baldwin, George Clymer, John Dickinson, William Johnson, Rufus King, John Langdon, William Livingston, Luther Martin, James Madison, Charles C. Pinckney, and Hugh Williamson, is selected to address issues related to federal tax and duty levying powers and also its power to regulate or prohibit the migration or importation of slaves. August 25 
Committee of Eleven composed of Pierce Butler, Daniel Carroll, Jonathan Dayton, William Few, Thomas Fitzsimmons, Nathaniel Gorham, John Langdon, George Mason, George Reed, Roger Sherman, and Hugh Williamson, is selected to consider issues related to interstate trade and navigation. August 31 Committee of Eleven leftover business composed of Abraham Baldwin, David Brearley, Pierce Butler, Daniel Carroll, John Dickinson, Nicholas Gilman, Rufus King, James Madison, Governor Morris, Roger Sherman, and Hugh Williamson, is selected to settle "...such parts of the Constitution as have been postponed, and such parts of reports as have not been acted on." September 1–8 Committee of Eleven leftover business addresses several outstanding issues including the method of choosing a president, the length of a presidential term of office, the president's treaty-making power, and the impeachment of the president, and makes a series of reports. September 8 Committee of Style and Arrangement, composed of Alexander Hamilton, William Johnson, Rufus King, James Madison, and Governor Morris, is selected to distill a final draft constitution from the 23 approved articles. September 12 Committee of Style and Arrangement presents the completed final draft of the Constitution to the Convention for its consideration. The 23 articles have been reorganized into a cohesive document containing seven articles, a preamble and a closing endorsement, of which Governor Morris was the primary author. The committee also presented a proposed letter to accompany the Constitution when delivered to Congress. September 13-14 the official copy of the draft constitution is engrossed by Jacob Shallis, September 15. The draft constitution receives the unanimous approval of the state delegations. September 17 – Constitution signed and convention adjourns The approved constitution is signed by 39 delegates from 12 states all but Rhode Island. One delegate, John Dickinson, who was ill and not present, had George Reed sign his name by proxy. Three delegates present declined to sign the document, Edmund Randolph, George Mason, and Elbridge Gerry. George Washington, as president of the convention, signed first. The other delegates then signed, grouped by state in strict congressional voting order. Washington, however, signed near the right margin, and so when the delegates ran out of space beneath his signature, they began a second column of signatures to the left. Jackson, the convention secretary, also signed as a witness. The convention then adjourned signed I. September 18 – Proposed Constitution published The Pennsylvania Packet prints the first public copies of the proposed Constitution in Philadelphia, September 20 Proposed Constitution is received by Congress, September 27 First Anti-Federalist Letter by Cato is published, September 28 Congress of the Confederation votes to transmit the proposed Constitution to the 13 states for ratification, October 5 First Anti-Federalist Letter by Sentinel is published, October 8 First Anti-Federalist Letter by Federal Farmer is published, October 18 First Anti-Federalist Letter by Brutus is published, October 27 First of the Federalist Papers by Publius Federalist No. 1, is published in the Independent Journal. The planned series of essays would, the authors hoped, give a satisfactory answer to all the anti-federalist objections which shall have made their appearance, that may seem to have any claim to your attention. November 20 Ratifying convention begins in Pennsylvania, December 3 Ratifying convention begins in Delaware, December 7 Ratification Delaware becomes the first state to ratify the Constitution 30 to 0, December 11. Ratifying convention begins in New Jersey, December 12. Ratification. Pennsylvania becomes the second state to ratify the Constitution 46 to 23, December 18. Ratification. New Jersey becomes the third state to ratify the Constitution 38 to 0, December 18. Pennsylvania Convention Anti-Federalist Minority publishes there. Descent. December 25 Ratifying convention begins in Georgia. 1788 January 2 – Ratification Georgia becomes the fourth state to ratify the Constitution 26-0, January 3 Ratifying convention begins in Connecticut, January 9 – Ratification 
Connecticut becomes the fifth state to ratify the Constitution 128 40. January 9 Ratifying convention begins in Massachusetts, February 6 Ratification Massachusetts becomes the sixth state to ratify the Constitution 187 in addition to ratifying the Constitution, Massachusetts requests that 19 alterations be made to it, February 13 to 22. Ratifying convention, first session, held in New Hampshire, March 1. Rhode Island legislature calls for popular referendum on the proposed Constitution, March 24. Voters in Rhode Island vote down the Constitution, 2708-237, April 10. Albany Anti-Federal Committee publishes a circular forcefully objecting to the proposed constitution, calling the frame of government, "...more arbitrary and despotic than that of Great Britain." April 21 Ratifying convention begins in Maryland, April 28 Ratification Maryland becomes the seventh state to ratify the constitution 63-11, May 12 Ratifying convention begins in South Carolina, May 23 Ratification South Carolina becomes the eighth state to ratify the Constitution 149-73. In addition to ratifying the Constitution, South Carolina requests that two alterations be made to it, June 2. Ratifying convention begins in Virginia, June 17. Ratifying convention begins in New York, June 18. Ratifying convention second session begins in New Hampshire, June 21. Ratification New Hampshire becomes the ninth state to ratify the Constitution 57 to 47. In addition to ratifying the Constitution, New Hampshire requests that 12 alterations be made to it. June 21st Having been ratified by nine of the 13 states, the Constitution is officially established. June 25th Ratification Virginia becomes the tenth state to ratify the Constitution 89 to 79. In addition to ratifying the Constitution, Virginia requests that 20 alterations be made to it. July 2 Congress President Cyrus Griffin informs Congress that New Hampshire has ratified the Constitution and notes that this is the ninth ratification transmitted to them. A committee is formed to examine all ratifications received thus far and to develop a plan for putting the new Constitution into operation. July 21 to August 2 First ratifying convention held in North Carolina. With the hope of effecting the incorporation of a Bill of Rights into the frame of government, delegates vote 184 to 84 neither to ratify nor to reject the Constitution. July 26 ratification New York becomes the 11th state to ratify the Constitution 30 to 27. In addition to ratifying the Constitution, New York requests that 33 alterations be made to it. September 13 Congress of the Confederation certifies that the new Constitution has been duly ratified and sets date for first meeting of the new federal government and the presidential election, December 15, 1788 to January 10, 1789 presidential election held First quadrennial presidential election under the new Constitution is held. 1789 February 4 – Electoral College convenes Presidential electors meet to cast their votes in their respective states. George Washington is unanimously elected to be the nation's first president and John Adams is elected its first vice president, receiving 34 of 69 votes cast. Only 10 of the 13 states cast electoral votes in this election. North Carolina and Rhode Island were ineligible to participate as they had not yet ratified the Constitution. The New York legislature failed to appoint its allotted electors in time, so there were no voting electors from New York. March 4 United States Congress convenes. The federal government begins operations under the new form of government as members of the first United States Congress are seated at Federal Hall in New York City. The Senate of 11 states would include 20 Federalists and 2 Anti-Federalists, both from Virginia. The House would seat 48 Federalists and 11 Anti-Federalists from 4 states, Massachusetts, New York, South Carolina, and Virginia. However, the initial meeting of each chamber must be adjourned due to lack of a quorum. April 1st House of Representatives reconvenes. With a quorum being present representatives begin their work. Frederick Muhlenberg of Pennsylvania is elected Speaker of the House. April 6 – Senate reconvenes With a quorum being present Senators begin their work. 
John Langdon of New Hampshire is elected president pro tempore of the Senate. April 6 electoral votes counted. The House and Senate, meeting in joint session, certify that George Washington has been elected President of the United States and John Adams elected as Vice President. April 21 John Adams assumes vice presidential duties. John Adams is sworn in as Vice President of the United States in the Senate Chamber at Federal Hall in New York City. April 30 George Washington assumes presidential duties. George Washington inaugurated as President of the United States at Federal Hall in New York City. Washington placed his hand upon a Bible belonging to the St. John's Lodge No. 1, AYM as Chancellor of New York Robert Livingston administered the Presidential Oath of Office, September 25 Constitutional Amendments proposed by Congress Twelve Articles of Amendment to the Constitution are approved by the Senate, having been passed by the House on the preceding day, both without recorded vote, and sent to the states for ratification. Articles 3 through 12 were ratified as additions to the Constitution December 15, 1791, and are collectively known as the Bill of Rights. Article 2 became part of the Constitution May 7, 1992 as the 27th Amendment. Article 1 is technically still pending before the states. November 16 Second ratifying convention begins in North Carolina, November 21 Ratification North Carolina becomes the 12th state to ratify the Constitution 194 to 77. In addition to ratifying the Constitution, North Carolina requests that 26 alterations be made to it. Topic 1790 February 2 – Supreme Court of the United States convenes The Supreme Court of the United States holds its inaugural session with a quorum present at the Royal Exchange Building on Broad Street in New York City, with Chief Justice John Jay presiding. As set by the Judiciary Act of 1789, the Supreme Court would initially consist of a Chief Justice and five Associate Justices, March 1–6, Ratifying Convention first session held in Rhode Island, May 24 Ratifying Convention second session begins in Rhode Island, May 29 Ratification Rhode Island becomes the 13th and final state to ratify the Constitution 34 In addition to ratifying the Constitution, Rhode Island requests that 21 alterations be made to it. 1791 January 6 Convention to consider joining the United States begins in Vermont, January 10 Ratification and application Vermont votes to ratify the Constitution and to apply for admission to the Union 105 to 2. Gallery See also Confederation period Federal procession of 1788 Founding Fathers of the United States History of the United States 1776 to 89 Republicanism in the United States Topic References Topic Bibliography Topic External links Primary Documents in American History United States Constitution The Library of Congress The Documentary History digital version of the Ratification of the Constitution The University of Virginia Press The States and the Ratification Process Center for the Study of the American Constitution, University of Wisconsin-Madison, Department of History Founders Online, Correspondence and Other Writings of Six Major Shapers of the United States The Fathers of the Constitution, A Chronicle of the Establishment of the Union by Max Ferrand 1869-1945